From the WGLT Newsroom, I'm Lindsay Jones. A lawmaker who represents much of rural McLean County has proposed a law that he says would make it a felony to register non-citizens to vote. Republican State Representative Dan Calkin says he considers it a preventative measure against voter fraud, though he doesn't have evidence that ineligible voters are being registered in Illinois. I don't know the answer to that question. I guess, uh, do you lock your house at night? A spokesperson for the State Board of Elections, Matt Dietrich, says the board does not comment on pending legislation, but he says no Knowingly registering ineligible voters is a form of voter fraud, and that's already a felony. The NAACP held a weekend event encouraging Bloomington Normal residents to be all in for democracy at Mount Pisgah Baptist Church in West Bloomington. Branch Vice President Carla Campbell Jackson says that the all in theme extends beyond participating in elections. But we're all in, and we talk about eliminating racism and discrimination. We're all in with making sure every citizen feels empowered. Campbell Jackson says that while the NAACP is nonpartisan, the organization is engaged in the political process. Proponents of an Illinois law that bans assault-style weapons say they're confident the law will withstand its most recent legal challenge. Mal Iqbal reports. Last week, a downstate federal judge heard arguments in a trial over the ban's constitutionality. Heather Weyervaught is an attorney and lobbyist for the law. Even if the judge finds in favor of the plaintiff, there'll be an appeal and that appeal would go to the Seventh Circuit, who has already said that they didn't think the plaintiffs were like to succeed on the merits. Since the law took effect nearly two years ago, gun rights advocates have filed several lawsuits, arguing it violates the Second Amendment. The judge is expected to hand down a ruling in about a month. I'm Mawa Iqbal. And Caterpillar is pulling back on some diversity, equity, and inclusion policies after a conservative activist set his sights on the company. Anti-DEI activist Robbie Starbuck posted an internal letter to employees from Caterpillar that told them any training programs will now be focused on only, quote, fostering high performance. Caterpillar has confirmed its authenticity. I'm Lindsay Jones.